All right, I'm starting recording now. All right. Let me just quickly explain the combat rules as well, Nicholas. Mm -hmm. There's no two hit, everything goes on damage. And uh, when the hit protection slash hit points are gone, it goes to a string. Sometimes dexterity. And when you get hit by that, uh, then you have to take a save. And if you fail the save, you are knocked unconscious. Mm -hmm. And if the strength or uh, strength gets to zero, uh, then you're dead. So uh, that that's pretty much it. And then you have an armor value. And if I say uh, the red uh, hits and it becomes four damage, then you should track your armor value before having the real number. So if you have one armor, I say four, you 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 should uh, heal three. Mm -hmm. um, that's that's actually yeah. all it is. And if you and if you if you roll your D eight or the whatever it is, just say the number that comes up, and I'll subtract the monster's armor. And uh, okay. in but each combat, should only know. last a few hits, basically. So uh, yeah, you can you can see here, so it should be fine. You have two D six or. No, uh, my damage is a d6. I got a okay. I got a stick I found on the ground. All right. I will take that. And uh, so now you have uh, also a dice on screen. Are you going to say the numbers? Yeah, I, I will roll the dice. Uh, is Anlar rolling for his little guy too? Or are you rolling for the, the drunken guy? I would like Sonola to, to roll for that guy in, okay. in combat mm -hmm. and in general. Yep. Someone. I, I, I heard you. I got you. Let me just open up the screen. I understood the just message. Click. I'm and... responsible for the higher links I bring along. Yeah. Yes. Um, there we go. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, what else? I I, I have to go at like a uh, fifteen fifteen. I have to really run out the door. <laughs> so maybe we should stop at fifteen. Okay. Yeah, we we so stop that's... at fifteen. Okay. When is that? Wait, is that two hours from now? It's in one and a half hours from now. Yeah, 90 minutes. Let's go then. Let's go. All right. Um, so um, it is it is fall, and uh, the mice are busy bringing in the harvests all over the forest. Um, the mice, uh, mouse settlement of uh, Acorn Gate is uh, an ancient oak hollowed out trunk where the mice have made little apartments in the inside connected by stairs and ladders and even platforms on the outside of the trunk here and there where a mouse hole peeks out. And uh, this is where we find our ale master, Tarragon Grant, doing his daily duties. Cleaning up after myself, collecting, uh, collecting some morsels for breakfast looking out over the fields what a slow morning it seems um, the uh, 
somebody's interested in knocking on the door fervently exactly the same time as they as always. It is Waddle Cat Racing. Waddle is a big mouse. He stands at the opening of the door with his unkept fur and greets, waits to be waved inside. Oh, Waddle, my favorite customer. Glad you made it. Come on in, I got the table set up. <laughs> I say you set up, but I, I clean away some trash that is still left over from last night. It's uh, like a push I onto the floor. <laughs> Uh, over here, over here. Are you? Uh, you always make space for me. Thank you, Tarok. I, uh, I owed your father a, a long tap. Uh, I you don't suppose you could put some a bit more on the tap for me? Uh, of course, I'm willing to to work for you as well. Every day the same. Well, you, you can help me out with the chores. I just happen to have like a filthy floor at the moment. But uh, for let yeah, let me let me get you a morning drink. That I walk over to my small barrel, the size of myself of <clears throat> like half a mouse, letting out a big drop into a hazelnut. Uh, shell filling it up I'm carrying it over to him there you go buddy what well, sits, sits himself expectantly at at the table with a little space over grabs the hazelnut and with a big smile on his snout he, uh, he starts enjoying the, the ale Oh, am I glad that we are enjoying just a normal morning with no adventures or silly goofballs trying to summon dragons or any anything like that. Exactly. Just like your father always wanted. I look outside and think maybe I should start collecting uh, for the winter the leaves are getting quite orange um, outside a in, in bit amongst the, the the orange yellow yellow leaves I, I'm walking uh, through the leaves, pushing some away with with my uh, stick staff. I have a a weird way of walking where I I overly bob my head side to side as I walk. I'm walking and make my way into into the stump. It's quite fast, you know. I approach the the, the first mouse. And, and, and I say, excuse me, is here where the great hero Grant lives? Grant? The mouse, uh... Uh... Well... Um. What, what... What do you mean, great hero? I'm just a mouse. I, I I look around, seeing there's uh, only two people in this this empty room. And Grant, the great hero Grant, <clears throat> of all mice done, he was my Tarkan. friend. Tarakan, he's he's talking about your your granddad. Don't you recognize the, the tone of voice? Dad, you dad never talked about him, but I heard about, I heard all the stories. <laughs> uh, 
Oh. Oh, yeah, 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 you're right. You must be my grandfather, then. Yeah, let me... Let me show you where you can find him. Well... I... And I... Leave uh, through the door, like... Beckon him with my... Mice hand. This uh, like I, I, I bow in, in appreciation. And, and, and follow him. Still... This weird... Bobbing, uh, walking... Motion. Leading, following silence. Leading the frog man uh, a lot, uh, past the tree stump. We uh, make a, a small a small stroll up a grassy hill. And uh, I ask, so, uh, what, uh, what brought you here to find, uh, to look for my grandfather, stranger? You don't look like oh. anyone I've ever seen. Your grandfather and I are great friends. He helped me, I helped him. I require our help once again. Using my, my stick to walk over the, the hill. Oh, I, I, I can help you I can help you, old frog. Hill. Here, here, take my arm. I will I'll help you up the hill. I, I much appreciate it. I hold it to his arm. Ah, uh, well, you're always such a great help. It's nice having you around. Thank you. Pleasure to help. <laughs> we cress, uh, mm. crossing the top of the hill. Uh, a bunch of sticks. Sticking out of the top with uh, names engraved and I walk towards a small stone slab with the names uh, etched in Terragree Grants I uh, approach and I, I remove my, my tiny point head and I hold onto my chest and I, uh, I croak in a high-pitched voice. I see... Mm, the finest mouse in all the mice done. What a great loss for your kind. Well... So you say... Sorry. I don't, uh... I never had a chance to meet him. Oh, uh, that's that's a shame. If every mice was like him, th there would be no limits for your kind. This forest would be would be yours to to conquer. Conquer? <laughs> How? Against the ant kingdoms? The roving beetle mercenaries? The murder of ravens? We are lucky I, I put we on, can I hold put on, on back to back the back. tree stump. I put my hat back on. Uh, I, I, I blink one eye at a time at Staragon. I've seen your, your grandfather fend off a, a, a raven once. What? Big... What? Have you met grandfather? How, how old exactly are you, Frog? He died many years ago. Many, many years. Well, yes, I uh, am four, four years old. And I wish to, to go to my fifth one. That's why I came here, but... Oh... You've seen four winters. That must be scary. Really scary. Well, I see is not quite the word, but yes, yes, I, I, I lived through it. And the, 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 the last few winters, very much thanks to Grant. And I, I look at Terragon. 
but you're his pawn. And I point my, my staff, almost touching the tip at your chest. Maybe maybe you can take on the legacy. Yes. I look at the staff and uh, look up at the frog, slightly taller than myself. I don't, I don't know. I. I have to make sure that uh, the town is stocked up with ale. I'm the only brewer here. My father ale? never wanted me to uh, leave outside and see the world. So I took up his mantle. I I put, I put the stuff down, uh, walking closer. I hunch over a bit but when night falls and you stare back at an open roof of the stump tell me don't your mind wonder don't you wonder about what's out there I grab my arm, like awkwardly. I do, sir, frog. So I can't did deny it. Your the, grandfather. The dreams of being a mouse knight always uh, was in the back of my mind. But what can a simple mouse like me do? Ha! <laughs> I've heard Grant say that once. You see, he did not start off as a great hero. He became one. And I was glad to witness it. I would expect no less from, from his spawn. You are the four of his four, as I've heard you say before. Let me get some affairs in order. There will be pips for you. All I request is help crossing the, 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 the woods. And you'll I come back the... not only richer, but wiser. At that time, a, a chill wind moves through the autumn forest, whipping up leaves. Um, Blowing through fur, uh, waddles, shivers, looks around. Many of the mice uh, are starting to gather. The last, last acorn carrying them into the stock. I would suggest we go into the morning. The night's going to be awful. All right. <laughs> looks like... Uh... Yeah. Looks like the brewery is gonna close for the foreseeable future. We can what? maybe with the closer. Well, yes. Uh, if I'm gonna help this gentleman, help. Gonna... <clears throat> I will. Uh... I'll, I'll, I'll believe it when I see it. I, I, I don't look. Look, I'm just. You owe know, you your father a big, you know, a big tap, and that's that's it. It's. I, oh, I yeah, don't I understand know. this. But you can't close the brewery. Come on. Well, I, I'm gonna have. How to. are we gonna get ill? Well. <laughs> I like shrug like. Well, if you really want to, you can come along. I'm gonna have the barrel with me, of course. At the very least, having something on hand to trade and barter with, it's always helpful. And I might get first. If you are going, if you are going on some traveling, you're never coming back, and I can never repay my tap, so I have to go. That's that's the law, you know. That's. There's nothing I can do about that. 
uh, a uh, ribbit uh, breaks the silence. A size up waddle with his uh, quite uh, quite strong physique for a uh, chronically drunk and think, you know what? If you can help me and the frog on the travel, I will consider the tab paid. How about that? Marvel uh, looks uh, down at the, at, at the brave mouse. He looks up too. And uh, slumps a bit of his shoulders. As long as you promise that I can open another one. And uh, she was a bit in his in his uh, fur, and yeah, he, he nods. Then it's a deal. The nod at the frog. <clears throat> Let us uh, I, depart I in the morning. I rub my my hand over my face, you know, spreading some some grease. Yes, yes. Very wonderful, wonderful. There is much to see. You will not regret it. I look, I look at Tarragon. You can call me Slick Evermoss. Or Slick. Slick. All right. My name is uh, Tarragon. Grandsire of Terigree. Oh, well, grandson, I guess. Oh. Yes, Terigon. Oh, what else? They call me Waters. I don't know why. I, I bow to, to both of them. Now it would, it would be wise to to carry something to defend ourselves along the way. Where, where are your grandfather's belongings? I have them hold up in a, at my fireplace. I'll bring Great. them along. Should be. I guess they might be useful for the journey. I start like walking down the hill again towards the big stump. Past uh, the other mice collecting the last uh, bits of food for the winter. The uh, skies have uh, darkened with uh, a few heavy clouds blowing in with the winds and uh, humidity starting to gather and uh, the air is crisp as if waiting for something something unspoken to happen. Winter is not far away but still a quite some while. Well, I'm just following along in silence. Inside the house, uh, kneeling, gesturing uh, to wait at the table, I open up a chest. Grabbing a set of uh, elegant cloaks, uh, clothes, neatly stitched, a green tunic with a comfortable and wind protective uh, cape, putting it over my marbled tan fur, getting up. I un I lift off the hook arm a stick with a, a tackle for fishing attached on the end. Ah, this great weapon that must be the one you're talking about from my grandfather. Hey. I approach overlooking at the weapon. Ah, yes, 
Yes. Do you know what your grandfather called it? In your tongue. So, the hoop is obviously of a very, very high quality, expertly made by the craft the mice. Uh, scavenged, perfectly sharp hook, and uh, etched titan runes on its shaft, glowing faintly with unseen energy. Your your grandfather called it cat blinder. I look at the weapon. A, a, a mighty name for a mighty weapon. This is no not critter made. It's Titan craftsmanship. At uh, the edge of the room, the most inside part of the room, there is uh, an immeasurable small movement of gray patterns shifting slightly. My look over what's uh what's there behind behind an old stool on the uh, wall uh, something is uh, something's moving some gray and black patterns shifting slightly from the ceiling a uh, a rod or string attaches all the way up to the roof of the of the room and then it stumbles down on the floor with a little chink chink it's moving much faster now chitters with its little fangs and its little poison glands and its little feet it's a spider the... take a step back how how did a spider get in here? I'm trying what? to... Over there! Rug, look out! Spider, get, a, get out of my hole! What are you doing here? Pleading with the critter. Hold, holding the... Uh, holding Cat's Blinder in front of me. Keep it at distance. forward it, it it's quickly it's it uh, it stands on its hind legs and opens its uh, its my mouth wide with its fangs going out and it, it spits a little bit of of the liquid onto onto you and then it tries for the exit i, I it's try uh, uh, rolling out, out of the way of the spittle ah I, I yell, uh, at Waters. Catch him! Catch him! It is a spy! The, uh, liquid is, uh, is acid, and it, uh, it, it sort of stings through the, the, the trousers onto your leg, and it, uh, gives, uh, five damage. The spider, uh, exits the room and try to skitter out of the, the building. I went in pain on the floor, holding my leg. I, 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 I grab you, trying to put you up to your feet. Oh no, what are they doing here? We, ha we have to go! I look there. Can, can you there. stand? What else is? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I, I'm, I'm okay. But my fur got the worst of it. Looking at the black marks of the curling hair of my fur. My nostrils flare a bit. I've seen your grandfather regrow that. It should be, it should be all right. Ah. Waddles in, enters the, trousers. Waddles enters the room and, and 
for what was that? They don't, they don't ever see them around here. They, they are not interested in us, common folk. The spiders don't care normally. It well, what, what happened? me. Your grandfather and I were quite famous and infamous. They could have followed me, silent as they are. Then, then we must go. If a spider can get past the guards, the commoners are not safe. I don't, I don't want anyone's head on my conscience. I, I have to do, walk do you, and start walking now. Do you think maybe they'll follow you out? If you if you go if we go now before the rainstorm, maybe we I don't know. I, maybe they be left here in town and sneak oh, around rain. anyways. Rain is our friend. It masks our smell. The spiders do not like it. Let us go. I, I, I'm, I'm not. I don't see that far in the dark or in the night. <clears throat> and the torches I have, they won't be useful once the drops start hitting. We can find shelter. There are plenty in the woods, and we can camp through the night. Like I said, night is no place for creatures of our size. Owls be about. Oh, Let's... Yeah. Oh, let, let me get my spoon. Uh, what else? Uh, get us around and he, he gets a, a huge tea, uh, a huge teaspoon made of wood. It's as long as he is. And he, he grabs a, a half empty uh, barrel and, and picks that up as well. And claims that he's ready. Very well. Let us haste. As he grabs the spoon, I take a minute to recover from uh, from the exhaustion and I uh, have a drink of ale. Uh, do you, we have uh, do we have a couple of minutes this quite hurt sir but if you say uh, that it's yes. haste then we, we can run uh, you, you, you may eat you may eat uh, just uh, I'll, I will look around if you don't mind just to make sure no worries you uh, recover you recover d6 plus 1 by the way. Uh, this feels much better. Drinking down the golden dew into my body. I, I come back. We found nothing in your house besides your beautiful furniture. It should be uh, under the desk there's a box i still have some rations in there and a net we might uh, we might take those with us uh, what is it with your kind way what also goes over and and just picks it up and puts it in one of his uh, enormous pockets and it's in one of the outer clocks he's wearing already thank you what else Rations for, for three days, that's, that's more than enough to get us anywhere we want. Yes. We're going to the to the south of the pond. Alright, I'm ready for a little weekend adventure. Let's go, Sir Frog. Uh, slick, sorry. Manners. Oh, it is fine. It is fine. And I... I take the first step, opening uh, his front door. Mm. Now let's go. All 
outside of the, the stump, the rain clouds have gathered and tiny, tiny drops have started falling. The wind is picked up, uh, not to the point of storm, but it howls through the autumn leaves of the enormous giant oak trees. And uh, this fills the entire soundscape of the little group of mice heading and a frog in the opposite direction of every sensible mouse. The clearing is completely empty, also of acorns. Well, something you should always be wary of. Always look up. The trees hide many things. Look up? I, I look up at the trees towering above me. What could possibly hide up there? Oh, if winged you, beasts. If you leaves uh, drop by, drop down slowly from the uh, from the towering giants. But even beyond that, a little silhouette of something circling, looking down with its spyglass eyes and almost feel it searching for you. Anything that moves. Oh, we better walk through the underbrush. I know some, I know some good uh, spots where the big rushes will cover us from the skies. Great. Over here, over here. I'm gonna grab hey, you by your froggy you hand. By your by one finger. Holding onto one finger. A very slippery, moisty finger. I, f I run along. Waddles has uh, grabbed his spoon and is uh, taking the hindmost spot, looking behind the, the group for some reason. Yeah, it's always in cover. I remember, any any noise, I'll be, be wary. The forest is big. It should be relatively safe, though, as long as we take the precautions. A little while later, the group approaches a meandering brook with its hasty waters filling up from the autumn rain, too, too wide for a mouse to hop across. Maybe a frog could, but it looks dangerous. Oh yes, the brook. Yes, we, we need to cross it. And beyond, the dense thickets of young trees safety. I've, uh, I've never been past the brook before. I don't know what's on the other side, Slick. Oh, I, I know the, the, the path. Just extra eyes and hands. Uh, now, it is quite mighty today. I, I look back at you too. Do you know how to swim? No, no, no. Well, of course, every mouse knows to swim, but not in this stream. Look, it looks scary. Cold. Oh, I, I don't love me. It says Waddles. Do you have a he string? Would you have some string? My throat swallows. Well, I, I got my net. I can, uh, I could throw it, catch onto something, but mm, I could carry it across, and then you hang on tight, and I pull you one by one. You will get wet, though. Oh. <clears throat> Your grandfather would smell funny whenever he got wet. Ah. Uh. Well, let's hope that the winds don't pick up then. 
I would hate to freeze in this air. I unfurl my nets, uh, align the tiny stones at the edges, so it opens up my I, uh, realm. I, I get my stick and I stick on the ground. I, I put my head on top of it, and I remove all my cloak. Uh, I am a, a naked frog now. I look away. V very slim, slick figure. I grab one one point of the net. Very well. I uh, I shall cross it now. Okay. I swim inside, holding. One wow. Side. Kind of Is going against the, the the current. Yeah, ice cold. Brook embraces the frog, uh, and the stream is strong and angry, uh, trying to pull him away from his destination. Try to roll with Dex with advantage. Dex with advantage? Ah, uh, yeah. I, I swim in, in an angle. Uh, keeping my my original uh, vector, and soon enough, from the other uh, edge of the of the brook, uh, is a green uh, dash out of the water, <laughs> uh, dripping with a net on one end. And uh, I, I look for a, a a pebble, and I put it against the pebble. Very well. And you can bring my clothes, please. You will get a little wet, but the net will save you. Will save you. I wave uh, uh, towards him and turn to Waters. Can you hear him? The brook is so loud, scratching into my ears. It looks like he's talking to us. Waddles uh, stands up and uh, excitedly he, he, he waves his arms at the frog and he hops up and down and uh, like does these uh, hand movements like making a, a lot of uh, yeah signs, hand signs. No, My... no, he's... Uh, my, my throat, my throat swallows and I, I make a... A beckoning gesture. Oh, oh, we, we're supposed to come. Got it. I uh, look, uh, grab the end of the string from the net to pull back whatever catch I have. Being the frog this time. <clears throat> and I turn. Oh, right, right. Uh, put on the hat over my eyes. A uh, big floppy on my head. And I take the stick. Okay, I'm gonna, gonna start going now. Pulling myself along the string across the brook. The ice cold brook envelops the uh, young mouse's uh, body with his clothes on. He's drenching with ice cold water. It's calling to him just to just to let go and just to enjoy the cold and enter the elements. Try a, a will with, uh, with advantage. There is a voice in the brook. It, uh, it commands the mouse to submerge. It wants it to be completely in the, in the brook and, uh, and just be one with the elements, be one with the autumn, be one with the, uh, the, the water that is flowing through the world. I yell back at uh, Waddles Some, somewhere behind me. I'm not sure how far. So, something's in the water. It's calling for me. They're like, 
I dive down a bit, like holding onto with one hand onto the edge of the rope, looking mightily distracted, getting slammed around by the rock itself. Well, what is look uh, looks terrified. Uh, he drops the the spoon on the, on the floor and, uh, and the stones and just drops it and just starts walking out to to catch his master to to shake him out of this this stupor. And just then, the the cloud is full of uh, of a feather. It's beast that dives towards the little group. Distracted to find whoever is calling for me, trying to yell down the river. Who's there? Hello? Getting smashed around, drenched. Starting to cough up water as I'm having trouble speaking at all. Uh, seeing there's something wrong, I, uh, I, I run towards back to the to the net bridge, uh, holding onto it a bit. What is going on? What is this? Reach the, the mouse and 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 these strong paws and pulls him out of the water again. Uh, tries to to get him to sense to to shake him out of it. It's. It's uh, the, it's the, it's the water spirits. Don't listen to them. They, 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 they don't know how mice live. They don't know we need warmth. Warmth. Oh no. Here, is he okay? Is Star going okay? What, what spirits? I'm the master of spirits. And if a spirit needs help, then I'm there to drink it. No, there, there, there be. Hmm, how to explain? Uh, I explain it later around campfire. Just, just don't, don't, don't hearken onto unknown words. It's not wise here in the in the in the forest. I'm, I'm walking towards the water again, un, undisturbed. I, I walk in front of you, st still uh, naked, and I hold you by the shoulders. Terragon! Me! Look at me! You know, giant eyes what? staring at you. What? I, I, I look up, and now my, my eyes focus again. Slick! Oh! Oh, hey! You got in a trance. The, the, the sirens. The brook siren. But somebody, somebody needs my help. What do? You, a tr a, what is a trance? Mm. I'll explain it later. But here, hold, hold, hold into my hand. Uh, okay. Take and it. I hold tight with your hand. And uh, I, I. I I, uh, and you too, uh, Waddles, we'll have to cross it together. Waddles is, uh, is standing, uh, dumbfounded. We're going back? We already crossed it. I, I, I got him across. And, Do you uh, want to leave the net behind? I personally don't mind it. Uh, you can get it. And uh, uh. just in that moment, the shadow from the sky dives down with its claws and its beak aiming for Waddle's back, trying to catch him. Run for cover! When I see the... And I start running with taking, needing another beat. I see 
I look at where the frog is looking. My eyes get big. And I spare up a storm as I run after him. By the mighty well, cheese sir. wheel, what is that? Running. Well, it's just barely uh, up to the side as enormous claws dig into the autumn soil, ripping up leaves and stones with a, in a terrifying scream. Or it takes up, uh, takes off again, um, whipping its enormous wings. I, uh, I, I, I'm running towards them. My my robes, pick pick up my robes. There is food in it. I got them. I got them. Uh, still wearing your hat, I uh, throw the stick towards you. And uh, and the bundle, the bundle of clothes that is all drenched right now. Here. I like quickly putting my hands inside of the robes. I, I pull like the, this wet white grub, and then I, I start I, I start leaping and ributing. Hey, bird! Trying to call its attention. It is circling around, and you hear a scream as though from a falcon, a high, uh, echoing scream. Oh. Um, as it's uh, tilting to one side, you can see its silhouette clearly with its jagged wings and its sharp, sharp, sharp beak uh, circling around for another dive. Okay. I I throw the, the grub up as high as I can, grab my clothes, and now run! Find cover! I dart to the brush, looking for a good spot to hide from the skies for me and my friends looking around no this won't do this is too open ah, maybe over there the underbrush is is closing in wallace is, is sprinting after his master and screaming incoherently as the uh, winged beast dives down and grabs the grub with one of his claws and Wraps for the frog with his other claw. Five damage. I uh, I uh, I roll on the ground a bit. Not not quite caught though. And uh. I I, I I reach into my my uh, my robots again and and pull out another another small grub, more yellowish. I throw it behind and I keep running. The bird uh, seems content for now. It it hops back to the grub and uh, scrapes and then it licks its its big claw. There's still some greenish blood on it. I'm, I'm putting on my wet, trying to put on my wet, my wet robes as I'm running, you know. I push away the mighty leaves from the brush, pulling them open to give an opening to my froggy friend. Over here, over here, we have cover. I'm waving for him to make the distance. Now with my, my, uh, my, my uh, robes, uh, I start leaping, like hopping. <laughs> My hat is way behind me. Another terrifying scream echoes through the uh, undergrowth all the way to the underbush. Take uh, a will say. Success.
the undergrowth is thick and dark and silent covers the sky completely in dusk Waddles. by my chest Waddles looks around to investigate his surroundings my my chest is puffing up and down my my second eyelids blinking i start rubbing my face that was that was a, a close call I can hear my own heart in my chest. You've got to have to lead this way uh, from here on out, Slick. I do not know these brushes. Yes, it is known territory for me. I've, I've made this crossing uh, four times now. And I, uh, I, I look at you. How do you feel? We could take on a break. I'm, I'm fine. Luckily, I've uh, dodged the worst of it, except for being wet as a, well, as a mouse. Oh yes, yes. I I forgot that. We we could Stop warm licking up. My, licking my arms clean. We can start a a, a small fire. He takes out the, the the barrel that he somehow has has managed to carry along all the to all this and, and sets it up on a little rock by the side and makes sure it's it's level and, and so that he can he can open it and pour out a few drops for those who are wanting. Uh, collect a couple of uh, sticks. Hopefully they're dry enough to build a small fire for break. Do you think this will do, Slick? Well, it sh should be enough for now. Yes, we should we should ration it though. Don't want to to drink and eat everything tonight, especially because I've. I lost most of my food on that lar interaction. I look back at him. You eat those? Ew! Disgusting! Oh, it'd be quite a cuisine for for, for my kind. A delicacy. That was a, a meal warmer right there. Harder to find them. They grow up so fast. I shake my head and focus back on the fire, rubbing my sticks at increasing speed. Come on, catch on, catch on. Waddles uh, looks like he's thinking deeply and rubs his uh, his uh, furred forehead. If only I had my spoon, I could dig up more for you, Frog. I could dig and dig. I could find a new one. Sure, I can find uh, all sorts of. She starts to look up. Maybe I should go loop for a, a stick in the forest. I, I, approach, I just... approach him, touching his, his, uh, his, his shoulder. I much appreciated uh, Waddles, but do not worry. There is always opportunities to grab a snack here and there along the way. It is fine. Better go one night with an empty stomach than die. The dried leaf catches fire from the friction and spreads it onto the small bundles of stick. Uh, okay. Ooh. Holding my the paws fire and... glitters on my my waxy skin. And I approach it as well. Oh yes, I'm warmed. Soon the uh, company of uneasy travels rests with shells of ale 
beside, beside a roaring fire, keeping the cold at bay. Everything seems fine, safe, almost. I think uh, that's the what... darkness is. The darkness is is filling out the spaces where light before came in. And uh, after I, I, I meet conversation, I say, and that's what we call water spirits, Dragon. I had no idea so they existed. It sounded like a little oh. girl. I, I I felt compelled. They will sound like whatever is most uh, convincing to you. Do you have do you, did you leave family behind, Tarragon? Well my father was uh has been gone for a couple of years now. Just like my grandfather. I never never knew about my mother, so not much to return to. Except the family business. Yeah. I'm sure that once our little quest is over, there will be no no shortage of female mice uh, interested in you. I blush. I think so. What, what are you talking about? Here. You must be starving. You're already talking crazy. I dig uh, in my Elendian clothes and pull out one ration. A giant uh, a sunflower seed. I hand it to you. Bigger than both of my I, hands combined. I, I grab it. I, I very much appreciate it, but I... I can't, I'm, I'm not able to, to eat this. And I what? hand it back. Why not? It's delicious and nutritious. Gives everything, everything that a mouse body needs. Exactly. A mouse body. Unfortunately, I, I require, uh, well, insect flesh. Oh, I forgot. You're a carnivore. Okay. Yes. Well, we might eat insects too. When we have them. Yeah. I love insects. It's good. I don't... Uh, you, know, you know, it's those... It's those chitin. They're so difficult to bite through. And they get stuck in the uh. teeth all the time. Sometimes this scream for I, help. Uh, it's unsettling. I open my mouth. Oh, you, need, you need the right technique to open its legs. You can. You, you just need to squeeze and then... Uh... Or you can swallow it whole. In my throat, like... Swallows. Like, touch my throat. Look at his, like... That, that is a big throat. Yes. We use it for singing. And I look out into the darkness. I hope I am back at the pond that, during the croaking. What is what is the croaking? The the, the, the the fire is still glistening on the side of pretty much my whole skin. Oh, the croaking is a annual ritual that my my kind do. Uh, Mason it can be can means bad omens. Also, it is the chance we have to to have spawns of our own. Oh, I <clears throat> see. Yes. Okay. Yeah. What is that? Does okay. So we are guiding you. <clears throat> we are guiding you to to your date. Is that what we are doing? Such a crude word. There's more than mere reproducing.
I slump a bit. It is spiritual too, you know. And I look back at them. But you'll be paid uh, for your troubles. I know you're, you're, you uh, mice and rodents uh, like to be repaid in pips, not only in experience, Robert. What is this? The uh, shakes his head, uh, looks away a little bit, dreamy almost, and he looks back at, at the Baron and gets up and get another drop and sits down intently. Yeah. I rest my back against the root. See. Yes, we are a civilized folk. That is true. Not some freebooters like the rats. And a sneer. I, uh, yes, we rest. They want everything I, I for free. Can you believe it? They'll just take no. it. Your grandfather you was a... a have to get a tap first. A nod. Um, Great Terragri was very unusual, I see. I I thought almost all mice were like him, but... Well, I... I don't know uh, what, what, the, what he did exactly. You know, everybody talks about him as a hero, but... I mean, how are you gonna survive from what? The goodness of the people because they like you? It's, that doesn't fill bellies. That doesn't save you from the winter. You need to be prepared. That who has friends says everything. Group sits around the fire and uh, discusses various aspects of mice and uh, broad life. That's it, Papa. Yeah, right. A pair of Well, are we... I'm quite warmed up now. Are we... Uh, let's... Uh, should we go? Um, are you in... Are you... Uh, okay? Tonal, are you... We can't see you in the... Yes, I need to, to cover the camera. So we don't see things we're okay. not supposed to. Okay. No problem. <laughs> Continue. All right. So, um, as the darkness was getting deeper and the group of mice and frog sat around and talked about life, a pair of strange mice entered the circle of light cast by the fireplace of the burning fire carrying a something between them they look very uh, humble and bow them their backs uh, waiting to be invited into the circle i look at them yes if you want to share warmth, please. Yes, can we? Yes, yes. We have food. We have walked through the thicket all day. Yeah, we're finally here. Can't believe it. Really uh, here. I, I can gesture. we come in? Please do, please do. Blinking one eye at, at a time. I uh, grab the 
a barrel and uh, scoot closer to my frog, froggy friend, looking at the strangers. But uh, what brought you here, friends? We're going to the Acon Gate. We're going home. It is. My name is Bay. This is Bree. My mate. Here we brought food, and the mouse gestures with his paw at, at a giant ant they are carrying between them. They are holding uh, one of the legs each. It looks delicious. It's. It looks Ooh. dead. Oh, I, uh, wow. Scrunch over. I, I, my, my little finger with suckers are like. Oh, I would uh, very much be appreciated. Thank you. We just need somewhere to stay for the night. We just need some, some warmth and some and some quiet and, and just before we enter the dangerous field. So you're going to, to share the food with you. Yes, yes, you're going to Aiken's Gate, huh? The brook is quite yes. mighty this day. Yeah, be wary when crossing it. There'll be siren, sirens there. Water spirits. Well, maybe, maybe the brook has calmed down by tomorrow. You know? I would not count on it. Oh, but we... That, that sounds worrying. Is the fall really that far uh, along that the that the brook is calling out already? Oh, we need to hurry home, Bree. We, we we're already late. Oh, but we need to stay the night. They um, they they lay the, the the dead end by the by the fire, and it's it's quite clear that there's a huge mushroom growing out of its head. A toadstool of sorts, and one growing out of its belly, and one growing out of its hind uh, body as well. Oh, the mice okay. claim that those uh, are very tasty as well. Mm. They've been eating them. They I uh, stop. I inspect the the ant, like trying to to ponder. See if, if it is actually healthy to eat or not. As I eat a bit. The mushrooms the can be is... quite tasty, but <laughs> there's all there's all sorts of them. Living creatures should not bear mushrooms. Close inspection. The end looks to be almost molded through there's a little web of molds here and there on it and the, the mushrooms seem seems to have you know, pretty much perforated the, its body I, I grab the ant like and i separate its abdomen from the rest <laughs> it's strands of fungi in between mm, this is not good where did you find this I would not advise eating this one. The female mouse Bree sits down, exhausted. She has not said a word yet. But Bay is optimistic. They had they were just lying around, he said. Plenty of food for all the mice. It's important to bring this back to the to the settlement for the winter. I turn to no. Waddles. No. And uh, ask what else? You know, you know your way around the corn, digging, uh, digging up seeds and stuff. Have you seen mushrooms like those before? What what else? Uh, looks up from his from his acorn shell. It, it's uh, it is, his eyes are a bit blurred over, but. He, he assures you that he does. He, he, he looks at the mushroom and sniffs the mushroom and uh, takes a bite out of it. 
Hmm. I have not tasted it. I have not tasted this before. But it's okay. Mm. One word of wisdom. I I put the the emblem back in on the on the ground. Uh, you don't do not consume that which is dead for unknown reasons. It is not wise. Uh, do you... Bay is a little bit confused. Do you have anything else? Are you sure? It's, it's just... Can you... Are you a doctor, Mr. Frog? Can you please check out my my beloved? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry to such a, to impose on you people. We, we, we are out here in the in the woods. We need to to help each other, right? What is what is wrong? I'm no doctor, especially not in in mice, but I may know a thing or two. She's she's not feeling well. She's very tired. Really, really tired. Did she eat anything unusual? He looks down at the ant and looks over at the mushroom and looks back at the frog. Nothing unusual. Mushrooms? Insects? Uh, these mushrooms? I, I point with my slick finger at the, the ant. He takes another bite. Mmm, it's tasty. Uh, Ooh, really good. Mm. Well, I, I know something that can help. I look at the Please. ants and I look at Slick. Uh, seeing his uh, devouring uh, look on him. And I look at the mice and say, well, don't don't worry about this, about these mushrooms. Uh, you won't need them. Here, take this. Like grab into my cloak uh, and uh, pull out the sunflower seed again. Eat something uh, you're familiar with. It's quite tasty. <clears throat> wait, 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 wait. Before before you eat, I I pointed the one who's. Eating. You should puke. What? Regurgitate. Yes. Uh, why? And, and, and breathe as well? Are you sure? Mm, if you feel oh. strange, well, it is. Well, take what you will from. From my words, but if you feel strange, regurgitation can help. It's what I do. Young, the two young mice do everything they can to to follow the advice of the wise ancient frog. And uh, he has uh, between... he has uh, seen a lot in the world. And has survived more than one winter. Okay, okay. We believe you, Frog. And they look. They look suppressed. They look almost broken as they sit there. There are cramps some here and there. Feeling. Do you need uh, help? Feeling incredibly awkward by this, I uh, put the barrel next to Waddle, knowing it's secure with him. I'm, I'm gonna go out and uh, hunt before we before we sleep. So I'll, I'll be back later. Oh, you should not go alone, Tarragon. I won't be far. Do you know what owls be? No. Do you remember the bird that attacked us? Oh yeah. Now imagine, imagine something three times as large, to all directions. Its eyes look like like an orange moon. And the worst part, it is as silent as 
as air. You do not hear it approaching. The last thing you can feel are claws piercing through you. I've heard they feed you to their young. I've seen one fly before. No sound whatsoever. They're like ghosts. Everything is dangerous, Slick, but I still have to hunt. I gotta need something to eat. Especially you. I can survive with one grub for tonight. I'd say we go in the morning when light comes. We can hunt together. But not now. Because if you are hungry now, you're not the only one hungry here in the woods. And you're not the smallest, you're not the biggest critter there is. If you're hungry, they're hungry. I understand your worry, but uh, I'll just set up a trap with the, uh, with the web, uh, the nets. How about that? I'll, I'll be back before you know it. Just need to find a good spot. I take my take my leaf, disappearing into the shadows. I stand up. Waddles, let's go after him. Uh, I I don't I don't have my spoon anymore. Maybe we can find a stick. And he follows you. Here, I, I hand him an uh, only torch. Mm. He, uh, he, he ignites the torch because he knows that that is his job. The, the underbush around Looking for a good spot uh, deep in the soft soil, uh, seeking seeking a stick, uh, looking for something to attach the nets to, uh, fashioning a trap. Oh, this this spot might work. It's uh, almost dark in the underbush, and uh, it's full of all sorts of uh, little sticks and stones. And uh, but then there's a a gray substance as well that that sort of catches the paw. It's kind of hard to see what it is in the darkness. It, it seems to be sticking to some of the surfaces, a fibrous material. Uh, wh whatever that is, uh, I, I should not approach it. I have to. I have to finish my job over here. Come on, start like strengthening the bond of the net, making sure that it, it snaps in place. I am looking looking for some bait I can place there. I, I snap off bits of the sunflower seeds. To, uh, as a bait for some grubs or even a worm to pull on the trap. Soon the trap is set, lying on the floor, covered with, with the leaves and branches, and the grub just sits there, unable to escape from its destiny. The trap will spring. I s smell the air as a mouse would and uh, follow my scent uh, back to uh, back towards the ale being the strongest scent I can remember it's getting so dark eating waddles and the frog on the way back. Waddles is startled when he looks at your paws. 
He exclaims, what is that? What, what is what? Your, your, your paws, you, you're lucky you escaped it. You, you, sh- you know you should never touch the, the spider's web. It's dangerous. That hurt. Oh, God. Oh, thank, thank the heavens you're, you're fine. Let us go back now. I looking up. It's not safe to be open here in the open. Okay. I did. I did see something gray in the distance, but I did. I'm not gonna check, of course. Let us hurry. You know, in the morning I will take care of these things. Can I scuttle back to to the the little uh, hole we found ourselves? With great difficulty, I, I pull off the remnants of the webbing from my paws, stretching it, snapping it off. Ah. Sticks uh, everywhere. It's, it's it's some nasty stuff. Can let me help you to 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 claw it off. That's a. Uh, Warden starts talking about that there might be spiders in the thicket. It might be a spider thicket. But it's just a kid story, he tells himself. I, I did not forget our previous encounter. We should take turns while we sleep. Watch Up us. until yesterday, I thought spiders are just uh, scary monsters to keep you at home at night. No. There are many, there are covens. Mischievous they are. Untrustworthy. And sometimes tasty. The two mice that were hosted so kindly by the group seem to have worsened in their condition. One of them is moaning silently almost bending over and rocking back and forth as though in pain delirious oh no what what's going on are you okay i I, like run over to hold their shoulder like inspect them talking to them uh to trying to get 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 answers speak speak to me free Bree just Bree mutters incomprehensibly. She's saying that she is in great pain. Her stomach hurts. Uh, but they they ensure you that they will make it through the uh, night. Uh, he looks at the mice with a sweaty face. He looks. His eyes are completely. Bloodshot, bloodshot, and you notice that there is something forming on his side of his head. He keeps scratching it. How, how can we help them, Slick? Slick, we must help them. Uh, I hurry a bit. Uh, uh, how how do you how do you regurgitate? Make them regurgitate. That may slow whatever is happening to them. What do you need? I look confused. See Bree in pain. I'm like, oh, oh, how? I mean, it's not gonna help. She's suffering. It will. How do you make my regurgitate? I mean, I do it. I take uh, my hand and uh, push it, uh, oh, like uh, push it into her mouth to trigger the reflex. Ah, okay. Make her uh, throw up. <laughs> Uh, 
almost unconscious, but still uh, uh, in, in at the power of the element of of the body and the sickness. She, she, she somehow follows your your lead, and and and, and like you, you can feel her teeth around your wrist, gnawing something, and but then she drops to the side and seems to no more be in pain. Just, just lies there. Now let, let her rest. Uh, keep her warm. Base. Base now in, in, in serious pain. Small uh, mushrooms are forming from the neck of the dead mouse. Just small, small mushrooms everywhere. I cannot see what, what's going on. It's, uh... It's, it's mushrooms on the, on the partner's body. It's growing out of the fur. It's growing from the back. It's growing from the cheek. Oh, I'm afraid. I'm afraid he might be gone. We should drag him away from from the fire. I would not think it's safe to be around those. I look at Waddle. Did you eat it, Waddle? Waddle furiously uh, shakes his head. Uh, he looks a bit sweaty, but he spits out. He spits uh, many times and, and uh, tries It was to... just a, an evil. He should be alright, but if you feel strange, regurgitate. Uh, I, I approach the, the fallen one. With the mushroom sprouting out, out of its fore and uh, nostrils and ears. This is bad. And I, I, I touch his chest to see if he's still breathing. The chest is still. But there is a jittering at one of the, the paws. It just jitters ever so slightly. The other mouse, base, basically lying next to her in cramps, and yammering incomprehensibly. The mushrooms seem to grow ever so slightly. Afraid we cannot help them any longer. Mm. Being that they are mice, just like you, I'll let you decide how to handle this. But in in Frogdom, we we often cut short our our suffering of our beloved ones when when such an illness come. Never. I've never. I've never killed somebody before. I stand up, letting go of Bree as she's herself stammering. And uh, the female one around. might still be could be saved, perhaps. But I'm afraid the male can. There's nothing we can do to him or for him. I grab, uh, I grab my hook, stick, my pole arm, I look down. I hope you will find the great cheese wheel. As I lower its blade to the neck. And slice the throats open. Thing in mice, I did. 
and though they seem relieved somehow of something much worse, they seem at peace. I approach Teodon. I'm I'm sorry. Hearing the crackling of the fire, I'm looking solemnly at the bodies. I'm sorry too. At least you know their names. They will not be forgotten. <coughs> and they are in peace now. And I let this uh, long rhythmic uh, croak. We should not. Uh, I know it is. It may be uncomfortable to you. Warm blooded. And I, I put my strife on the ground. And uh, grab. Uh, the tail of one but we should drag them out of the campfire i would not i don't think it's safe to be around close near the the sprouts and it start dragging over my shoulder one of the bodies i guess we should i take uh, the... the other tail and disappear into the shadows disposing of the bodies And uh, with that, I, I believe we should end the session. Yeah. Yeah. Yay! Thanks, guys. <laughs> Most of it was a it fun up. game with little critters, <laughs> where we explore the fast <laughs> enchanted forest. It's not <laughs> metal at there, all. <laughs> yeah, we got murder. We got euthanasia. I well, I I would not call it murder, right? It's there, there's yeah. a different word for what we did. It's not. It's is it an killing. execution? Yeah. Mercy killing. Yeah. Right? It's legal in some countries. Yeah, euthanasia. It's euthanasia. It's called. Good death. Euthanasia. Yeah. Right. Oh yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. But that's uh, with uh, chemicals. <laughs> exactly. I've never no, killed somebody chemicals. before. Why are you asking me to slay my kid? <laughs> Why? Yeah, well, it should. It's only right that the the mice should, you know, do it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but it would uh, be easy if you did it. <laughs> right. Yeah, I, but like, I know. I know. We I don't, don't have much time, so let's let's sum up. Like, uh, yeah, uh, we have to be any, faster, any, right? That was a yes, thing. Any pointers that you really yes. want to bring up, Solbier, uh, you finally got mm -hmm. to. Dungeon Master with, uh, with us, for us. So, how was yes. it? Uh, it was, uh, yeah, it was uh, really interesting. Um, a lot of uh, fun. I don't know if you, you know what I'm about. <laughs> I, <laughs> well, I, I enjoyed fun. myself. Uh, I can't believe <laughs> fun, so. There's a bit of a jittery things here and there, but I. I I'm fairly, uh, I'm fairly satisfied that, that, I, that I was able to to bring stuff into the situations, and I was not, I did not have to say, you see this and you see that, and uh, I tried, I tried using sound of a mouse narrator uh, voice here and there, mm -hmm. just like yep. uh, instead of saying what was, I was like telling the story of what was in the surroundings here mm -hmm. there, and I was experimenting a bit with the time skipping a little bit. Yeah. Um, so I think that was some of that was was okay, and uh, we had some troubles in the beginning, mm. for sure. Like we weren't sure what what yeah, exact I wanted surroundings to, were. When I when I said that, let, let me get my belongings. I wanted to time skip to taking the mantle of my grandfather and stick, but then Nicholas yeah. like also said like, oh, but you, what about your grandfather's things like? I know Nicholas, you don't you don't need to spell it out for me, like I know. <laughs> but but you know, both both ways is fine I guess. I, I was trying to make it like no, a smooth I, 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 I'm not sure I how to rich. summon how do I like I, I, summon, I, I, yeah. summon cutscene, like you know. 
I, I, I got that that you wanted to do a time skip because because we had little time. So yeah, we should be on the road as fast as possible. So I just said that <laughs> as into we're gonna. Oh yeah, let's grab that and be here. You know, and I thought yeah, that would be yeah, the yeah. time skip, but <laughs> the spider uh, encounter. <laughs> But Why is this spider in my home? I have no idea. Hello? What? You're can, you, can you uh, repeat that? Uh, wait, who me? Yes. Okay, for me the confusing part was the time skip, time skip out of out of the apartment when the the wizard was walking outside. And he was talking about being in a room, and there was a. He was talking about suddenly being a room because he was entering the scene that we were in, but then you were entering the scene that he could have been in outside, by yeah. the, the the hill. I was teleported. And, uh, <laughs> there was a bit of, of of there, but I think it could be fixed very very easily by 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 just putting one yeah. sentence describing the surroundings. Yeah, and I was I like, I'm outside of the stump village. I just entered the stump village and I approached the first mice. That was my idea. So, you know, I thought he was like looking at me through a window or something. And he's like, oh, look, what a weird guy, you know? And then turns yeah, out I the weird guy is going to be your companion for the rest of the day. Oh, did I do that? <laughs> oh. Yeah, yeah was... you said you inserted yourself as that mice, as that mouse, which is totally fine. And I was a bit slow to to describe the uh, random passersby, so you inserted yourself there. Yeah. So because and, and, we don't have much time. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Maybe how was it for you? How, what, how did you like the the game? Well, I, I needed a bit to get into the skin at the start. Uh, like yeah, we we were like setting up OBS. I was setting up OBS, getting background image. Uh, putting on th some music so i i i wish i took like you know 15 minutes before to think more like what would i say what do i mm. like what is my character i did not have with other games i have like stoic and like or loving or like empathetic in this game i've had like with the birth with the uh, birth star but i did not use those i like, ignored my... my yeah i ignored them so, so I pretty much like my... came came up with a personality as we went. So yeah. that's what I think. For me, that, mm -hmm. those are my thoughts. I, uh, I I enjoyed it. I was trying to like keep reminding me like I'm I'm somewhat of an alien, you know. Uh, so uh, he doesn't like really like he knows mice because of the grandfather, but like he doesn't understand them as much. You know, so he judged that everyone must be like, like the grandfather, you know. Like, oh yeah, you need warmth, you know, like, you should not be catching rain and wind all the time. Stuff so I, like that. Yeah. I was also, like, trying to describe, like, I'm pulling open this underbrush. Like, it's a huge leaf. It's like opening a gate into another world, you know. It's what I... Uh... Come here, run, run in! So like then I let go and it would like slap back in place, you know, into the bird's uh, face if I can. That was like what I was I, I, aiming for. That was not uh. my mental image. I was like we're like below some roots or something, you know, like that's kinda yeah. what I there's some foliage maybe. Yeah, I was confused I was... in some moments. Um So that's why I stayed quiet most of the time. Oh yeah. Like, no. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I was like, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll let them like make the thing clear without yeah, me with, having to ask. With the web, I was like, here's my net. And you jump over the other side, so I'm like, wait, but it's a net. So so you want to like build a bridge? But that's not what's, what I was thinking. I was thinking, okay, so the net is attached to a rope. I throw the net and I pull on the rope to like whatever I catch, I pull it back. Uh, so I'm like okay. grabbing the rope and like swimming, basically like pulling myself through the water but you guys imagine something completely com different and like yeah, every time somebody I... talks i'm like i don't know what's happening i'm just like <laughs> trying to like a muggle my way through the sea yeah <laughs> it was fun. confusing um but I, I thought we were just making like like kind of an, a bridge just so like you can hold on to something if you get dragged you know and just like a, as a literally a safe net 
that was my oh mental image. okay so like the net is big enough to cross the brook itself apparently <laughs> I was imagining a rope across the, the, the brook that you had somehow arranged, and, and then yeah, you could that's fine. Then... Yeah, you know, it, it kind of worked, so I guess it's fine. Yeah, like every time we say yeah. brook, I imagine this vast river that's like fucking storming oh, yeah. past me. For, because for we are us, mice. should be yeah, yeah. yeah. For mice, it is uh, something like that. Exactly. Yeah, but... exactly. That's yeah. you know something funny because I, I was keeping. Like, usually when I play, I'm usually, like, in third person. Like, I'm seeing, like, my guy doing things. Um, but for this one, I was trying to get into first because, okay, everything needs to be big. You know, I need to visualize. So uh, that was a mental exercise for me. Did you like that I made you tall? Like, I'm looking um, up at you. Did you like that? Yeah, I guess I'm, like, slimmer. So, I'm, like, if I stand up straight, I'm a little, like, tallish. But, yeah. Yeah, for, for some reason, in my head, I was thinking, oh, the frog should be taller, you know? I'm the hobbit, you're the Gandalf, so I'm looking up at you like <laughs> like a foot taller than me, yeah. so, you know, like, but in, in mice metrics, mouse metrics. Yeah. <laughs> uh, at, at the end there, like, something that, like, I liked that was something that I just happened at the, at the end that I did, and I thought it was cool, like, when he said, like, uh, something like, oh, I know that you're warm-blooded, like, may find this uncomfortable or something like that. Then it came to me like, yeah, I should be playing more into that, you know? Yeah, that was cool. I liked it. Because, like, he's not a mammal, so, like, you know, like, the, the touch is a form of affect. That These kind of things that the most mammals have, like, he doesn't have that. Yeah, yeah. That was nice. So... I, I think it was, that was a nice contrast between the different species. Like the frog was a, a, a stranger to mouse, not what was normal for mice. That's that's how I, I felt about it. It's like getting naked, you know, like yeah, I'm just getting naked here. I'm gonna swim. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I wish we. The other day. I wish we had more turns with the combat uh, with the bird, like more oh, yeah. interactions between like, and it's flying We're towards to you. Run away like, from it. Yeah, the claws in, like in melee distance, basically. Because mm. we basically never had a chance to attack him first, this way, like. But, but there was no reason to, right? I mean, like the were spider like, would be a fair fight, but the bird is like that's yeah. A it would not be fair, but but I'm like looking for opportunities to sue something. It was either it's in oh, the okay. air and it hit us, so so I felt like okay, there's nothing I can do because I don't know how to force a turn or like get in between. Mm. So I'm running away instead. So th yeah. so that was like a bit confusion with how to do it with the system. Oh, okay. Yeah, you. I think you could have, you could have described that you had your your bill hook ready and like trying to catch his feet as it's yeah. flying by or something like that. You'd be able to yeah. roll the damage on it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I had to use two of my, my three rations just to make the bird go away, you know? I was thinking, yeah. with the first grab, I was thinking, oh, you're casting a spell. With the second grab, it's like, oh, this is your food. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right, yeah, it's time. Last yeah. words, yeah. Solmir. Oh, thanks. It was, uh, it was great. Uh, let's do this again sometime. Yeah. Right. Same, let's continue. I'm stopping Bye -bye, the man. recording. <laughs>